I always told myself that I am going to be rich before 30. I am going to be rich before 30. I had no clue how, but I just knew that it's gonna happen. I was in school and um, I started to dislike school a lot. I, I started to um, have problems with um, attention, like focusing, because I have my ADD. It's like hard for me to, to focus for longer periods of time, especially when something is boring, like schoolwork, for example, like big assignments. It was very hard for me um, to, to go through with that. So eventually I just kind of stopped going to school, dropped out. We are all academics in the family and we have tried to uh, make him finish his academic exam. Um, and I, I didn't have any plans, I didn't know what to do, so I felt anxious about it. My parents were um, worried about me, of course. I was trying hard to have him finish school. I, I could feel that they were worried about me and that they were not proud of me. And it was hard for me specifically because before this period, I was a high achiever. I actually, uh, before I started to drop out of school, I, I did have straight A's. But um... at that point, I had no plan at all. Um, and um, the, the years continued to pass and I was getting anxious because I felt like I was not going anywhere. School was the only security that I had and now I lost that. For a few years, a few dubious years where none of us really knew what he was doing or what he was going to do, but then I don't think he knew either. I, I had to do something, right? So I, I just took a job at a um, local grocery store. I worked there for three years. And I wanted him to do something, you know, to have a regular job. And I think everyone has that kind of moment of time where he just doesn't really know. Yeah, it, it took quite some time um, just going kind of sideways and not doing anything until I decided there's no way that I can see myself just working in a grocery store the rest of my life. Um, so I, I decided that I'm going to be successful no matter how. I am going to be successful. I'm going to reach that 30, like be rich before 30. I'm going to find a way. For a couple of years we had some doubts of what was going to happen to him. So I just started to, um, to research about uh, other successful entrepreneurs, um, rich individuals and even um, successful athletes. And many of them, they all talked about this visualization. You have to visualize your future, you have to have a clear set of goals and then work steadily towards it. And that's how you can reach anything in life. So I've, I said, well, you know what, I'm gonna try this. It sounds too easy to be true, but if everyone keeps telling me, then you know what, I'm gonna try it. So um, I was working in the grocery store and I started to visualize um, um, like money. And I started to visualize uh, me uh, um, traveling in business class, first class, and see myself um, flying a private jet, for example. and. Uh, and all of these things um, were, of course, far away from working in a grocery store, so it was a little bit hard to kind of um, believe, but I, I knew that I had to believe in it because I, I know that if I just visualize it strong enough, long enough, um, every day, then eventually it has to come true because it's kind of a law of nature. He chose, was chosen his way of making his future. Like if you want to be successful, then you have to feel successful. You have to feel like you already are the person you want to become. So that's what I was doing. And um, yeah, it didn't take long. It, did, it took not even one and, a half, half, uh, one and a half, two years or something before I started to really see um, myself coming closer and closer to, um, to yeah, that new future life that I was visualizing. But he um, came through and excelled like no other. I learned about Bitcoin while working in the grocery store. I only made $1,500 per month, but every single dollar, every month that I made, I put into Bitcoin. I only kept like maybe $50, $100 every month for like um, my, my average expenses. Um, and, and I had some money saved up since before, but all of my 
my new salary that I made, I put everything into Bitcoin. And when I had to pay for something big, I had to sell back Bitcoin. But I knew that I'm going to get into the Bitcoin space because I know that it's like jumping into the, um, the internet era of two, uh, 1990s or beginning of the 2000s. You're early, right? So I felt like this is going to, to change the world, so I'm going to um, take part of it. And I think that was the, the, the big moment. Uh, but then the second biggest moment, or equally as big, was when I just created my YouTube channel. I think that was a very, very big step for me. Maybe he knew all the time because he was always on the YouTube making films. But at that time, it was mostly about music. He wrote songs, we could call him a songwriter. And he played all instruments by himself, the guitar, acoustic guitar, the drums, and he was singing, producing his music, writing lyrics. And that is what he did at that time. If he was interested in something, he was doing it in the best manner. Uh, and he just needed to, not just, but he needed to have something to be interested in, but he do it in the best yes. way. But he had his own mind, and he chose his own path, and he was right. It was right for him to do that. Um, and now today, now that I have this um, huge thing going on and, and um, I mean I feel fantastic about it and they see that I, I love what I'm doing and they can see that I'm doing well so I know that they're proud of me, they've told me that they're very proud of me so that makes me feel very good, very very good. <laughs> so many people probably sit here today and say mm, I should have gone into Bitcoin in 2012. Yeah, you should have, but you didn't, so. But to believe in yourself and the capacity to really navigate through all this noisy, noisy society, I think that's very, very, very cool. I'm always been very proud of Kalle. I'm very proud. It's really inspiring to see someone so close who has accomplished so much in such short a time. I'm very happy for him. He did it on, all on his own. Now that I've already met most of my, or actually all of my financial goals, I, al I always put up new goals as I meet my goals. But now my most important goals to me are not necessarily financial goals. Um, for example, I, I really feel like I want to inspire people as much as I can. I've achieved great things so far, but uh, I can do so much more. Oh